What were you doing when you were 14? I realize that's not like a normal conversation starter, but something absolutely fucking nuts happened in MLS where the youngest player in the history of top-level North American professional sports debuted at just 14 years and like three to the 290-something days. I mean, this kid, uh, this sentence alone is insane. A, a year ago, he was 13. Like, I understand how age works, but just somehow hearing that out loud makes it even more insane what actually happened. And unbelievably, I made a video about this guy on my main YouTube channel a little while ago, and you could kind of see this coming. His name's Kevin Sullivan. And while people were very quick to label him like the next Freddie Adu, this is an American player that has already been signed by Manchester City and will join Manchester City at the age of 18 and was projected in a lot of different circles to make his first team debut by the end of the season. He's a player that actually earned it. And obviously, anytime a 14-year-old's playing in a major professional arena, like you're just naturally uncomfortable about it. Either you have concerns that they that, that it's some sort of PR campaign, because why the hell else would I be talking about Philadelphia Union against New England Revolution? I probably wouldn't be sitting here talking about it at all, but I am here talking about the fact that Kevin Sullivan was there. That, or you're also worried about the amount of pressure that is going to be put on somebody that's 14 years old. You think of yourself when you were 14 is kind of why I started the like I started talking about it that way you think about putting your own 14 year old self in this situation and how you'd be able to react to it and you become instantly worried that this sort of guy is is just not going to be able to handle the amount of pressure and money and fame that comes with being this sort of young phenom I mean there's young phenoms and then there's this there's somebody playing in a league that I would consider a top 25 uh, professional football league in the world that is 14 years old, right? I, 14 years old and doesn't turn 15 until after the season, right? Uh, it just unconscionably young. Uh, and the, for all those reasons, you get uncomfortable when you see something like this. But what I'm here to talk about is because I've actually talked to the American version of Fabrizio, Moran, uh, R Fabrizio Romano, a uh, guy named Tom Bogert, about this. I interviewed him about Kevin Sullivan, and I made that whole video about him. I can actually put some of that to rest. And we'll start with the first half, that this is just some sort of PR stunt. Obviously, he only beat Freddie Adu's record by 13 days. The fact that he happened to play in this particular game, there is a PR element to that. But in any possible way that you crunch the numbers on this, as crazy as it sounds, Kevin Sullivan actually deserved to be in this Philadelphia Union 20-man roster last night. Uh, like, like, he did. He deserved to be in that team. Okay, earlier this year, he was promoted from the youth teams into the reserve team, into the second team. That's when I made my first video about Kevin Sullivan on the main channel and talked to Tom about it and everything. He was promoted into the second team, and the idea was that if he was successful in the second team, then he would eventually end up in the first team. Well, in his last two matches in the reserve team for the Philadelphia Union, Kevin Sullivan, well, in his last two starts, I should say, he made a five-minute bench appearance after both of these but in his last two starts in the second uh, team he scored two goals and he has five goal contributions in less than 500 minutes playing at the reserve level as somebody who is quite literally just starting like puberty you know like we talk about development we're not talking about develop like like fit, like technical or mental we're talking about the fact that this guy's still going through literal physical development at this point and he's dropping five goal contributions in less than 500 minutes played with consecutive goals Philadelphia Union missing a couple of players for this game and Kevin and a couple of other guys from the second team get called up. But obviously, if you're going to call up a couple of players from the second team, you're probably going to want to grab the kid that has scored a goal in each of his last two starts, even if that kid happens to be 14 years old. Now, Jim Curtin, the head coach of, of Philadelphia Union, he actually said when Kevin was promoted to the second team, don't be surprised. To, you know, he's closer to the first team than you'd think. Don't be surprised if he gets there. Right. And, and, and he is in the youth teams in his performance in like big U15 and U17 sort of tournaments in the United States has just been the best player. He's been dominant. He's been unbelievable playing for the U.S. youth national teams. He's been amazing. I mean, that's why Manchester City's already signed this kid, because they were watching him play against the England youth national team. And he scored both goals and was celebrating all over the English national team. I think he did the Alex Morgan tea drinking dance. I mean, like the celebration anyways, he's, he's got the swagger about him. He's got the confidence about him and he is good. 
right? Now, if, if we're talking at an MLS level, I don't believe he's an above average player stepping into an MLS team right now. But if you're in a, if you're on a roster where you're missing a couple of guys and you got to bring a couple of people up from the second team, he's clearly one of the best guys in the Philly Union second team already at the age of 14. And so he earns this call up and then rightfully ends up being on the field. Like if, it, if, if he was 20 years old, nobody would be batting an eye about the fact that he ended up making this appearance based off of the results that he had been able to get. The fact that he's 14 is where you you feel like you got to jump through a bunch of extra hoops, some literally legal like child labor laws to make sure that he is able to actually appear on the field in the first place. The second part being the pressure. And of course, when Kevin Sullivan was signed by Manchester City, uh, there was a big wave of like tweets from Fabrizio Romano and BR Football and all this stuff about a 14-year-old American that was already signing on with Manchester City's like first team system, right? That these scouts were saying, hey, this kid, the Manchester City scouts saying that this guy's based arguably the best 14-year-old in the world, right? Like, and that seems pretty clear that he is at least in that conversation. Who knows what that means in terms of translating, you know, is he the best 24-year-old in the world? That's a really giant leap for being the best 14-year-old in the world. So you got to see. But being able to handle that kind of pressure, I mean, just this alone, like I obviously can't show you the video at DMCA, but this is him, you know, coming on the field for the first time. It, it's ESPN FC, it's BR Football, it's Fabrizio Romano, who's tweeted it out, coming in in the 85th minute. Uh, and I think that he's actually in a situation where he is uniquely equipped to be able to handle this pressure better than somebody like Freddie Adu did, better than the vast majority of people that end up being incredibly young and playing in MLS are able to handle this type of pressure. First starters, Kevin Sullivan's older brother, Quinn, was literally already on the field in this match. And by the way, scored a banger of a goal earlier in this match, which contributed to Kevin being able to come on the field in the first place. Quinn Sullivan is a legitimate U.S. national team prospect. He's like 20, 21 years old right now. And he is one of the most important players in Philadelphia Union. So he has a brother that is in the system, understands being a professional athlete and can guide him and, and kind of check him as well when he feels like maybe he doesn't need to work as hard as he needs to in order to reach his potential, right? And it also means that his family, which of course is in this tight-knit group around the Philadelphia Union in the first place, they're familiar with the idea of their kid being a professional athlete. They're familiar with the idea of what being a professional athlete means and kind of how to manage that. Kevin Sullivan also has two other older brothers who are both playing at a high level in academy as well. So this is a, a, a family, a large family full of footballers that are all going to be capable of kind of keeping... Kevin in check not to mention that Kevin's grandfather is like a legendary coach his father was also involved in coaching I mean this is a family that down to the nuts and bolts the Sullivan's all the way through right it's a soccer family right and I say that instead of football because this is all really occurring in the United States but but the Sullivan family is entirely all the way through a soccer family has and has insisted in the media multiple times that they are really focused on keeping Cal, uh, like Kevin's feet firmly stapled to the ground, right? That is actually a really unique situation. And honestly, it's something that makes me feel a decent amount of relief watching this because talking about that anxiety that can get kicked up earlier by watching somebody this young make a debut and all of the potential horrible things that could go wrong with the amount of expectation that's being heaped on a kid like this is that he's got an incredibly strong family structure that totally understands the sport and all of the intricacies in it. And you know, shoot, he's got a brother who he might, you know, if, if things go well, play together with on the U.S. national team, right? Like that, he, he Quinn Sullivan is that good. Like if Quinn Sullivan was the pride and joy of the entire family, that would be an amazing accomplishment. Then here comes Kevin breaking the record for youngest player in MLS history in the first place. That and combine that with the fact that he really earned being on the field this is probably one of the only debuts of a player this young that you can feel pretty comfortable about. Now, I, we have no idea what's going to happen. And you've got to be very careful in saying like, well, Kevin Sullivan's got a chance to be one of the best players in the world because who has any idea? Everybody knows the one person they grew up with that happened to be really good at sports when they were 14 or 15 years old. And what the hell are they doing now? Probably nothing, right? And, and Kevin Sullivan is just insanely good at the age of 14. Right. And there are so many things that can happen. I mean, goodness, if he let, let's say he reaches Messi's age and he's still playing professional soccer. Right. And what, while that sounds maybe like a mean sentence, Freddie Adu is out of it in his late 20s. OK, so let's say he makes it to Messi's age. He's playing professional soccer. We're looking at nearly 2050 
like the year 2050. That's the distance that we're talking about here, right? Like that is, that's insane. Now taking one day at a time is obviously the most important thing, but that hopefully that puts in perspective the amount of uh, uh, like time in terms of, of distance that Kevin Sullivan has maybe the opportunity to travel, even if he just becomes an MLS all-star or something and, and just happens to have a really good MLS career and he just happened to get very good very early. Who knows, right? But he is headed to Manchester City at the age of 18. And it, it, it is reasonable to be excited within reason. But whatever you do, don't project it onto Kevin, right? Like there is a difference between hope and expectation. Right, and, and the Kevin Sullivan situation is just full of hope right now. I mean, this kid just played, and he actually had a shot. Even though he played less than 10 minutes, he had a shot on target. Uh, he, he's, the, the situation couldn't be more hopeful, right? He's the youngest player to ever play in MLS, and MLS has changed a lot since Freddie Adu was around. It is not nearly as easy to get on the field in MLS. There are uh, the, a lot more there's a lot more competition for spots and this that and the other thing right but he earned his way onto the field he got his debut he broke the record and that creates a lot of hope but we have to prevent that from shifting into expectation because even if things go beyond amazing Kevin Sullivan's not going to be somebody that's featuring regularly at the level that maybe some people would hope that he'd be able to feature at for six years right I, I mean it is the, the, the time scale is just, it's out of whack. It's like your brain doesn't even know how to handle the fact that somebody's 14 and already playing at this at this level because we're talking about somebody that just got out of middle school. But I've been fortunate enough to try and do a lot of digging and understand this story before it turned into the story that it is now. And so I can say with confidence, he's got a better shot than most kids that would make a debut at 14 years old to be able to get the most out of himself. What that's going to be, who the hell knows? But I'm hopeful. I mean, I don't have expectations, but I am hopeful because my goodness, he's very good for a 14-year-old. He is.